Hello, welcome to Excel Video 349. I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this to you between speaking for New Jersey MGMA on my way to speak for Montana MGMA. If you're looking for a speaker for your next meeting about Excel or data mining or how to really manage your practice with information, I'd love to help you. It's going to take me a minute here to explain my example, and then what I want to do is talk about how to use constants in an array formula. Let's say that I've got five years worth of revenues up here. And what I want to do is rather than take a simple average of 7.6 million, I want to take a weighted average of these revenues. And the way I'm going to weight them is I'm going to do one for the oldest year, a weighting of two for the next, and three, four, all the way up to five for my most recent year. So I'm giving additional weight or emphasis to the most recent data. To do this weighted average, what I'd do is I'd take this formula here that simply takes a13 times a14 and copy it across. So I'm taking this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this, putting it across here, and then summing those values here, dividing by the total of 15, which is simply 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, to get a weighted average of 8 million. Let's do that weighted average formula in one cell as opposed to all of this. What you, and what you can do is you can do this. You can say equals the sum of these revenue cells right here times, now I need my brace thing again to do constants, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then what I'm going to do is close the brace. I'm done with the sum part of my formula, and I'm going to divide by 15, just like I divided by 15 over here. Then I'm going to end with Control Shift Enter, and I'm going to format this the same way, and that's my answer. I actually did one down here to see that I've got the same answer. But see how much easier it is and how much less space it takes to put a formula like that here and say the weighted average is 8 million instead of 7.6. Now, if you added another year, then I'd have to come over here and add another column. I'd have to change all my formulas, add this, and make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or whatever. Whereas if I added another year here, all I'd need in my formula is change this to F13, comma 6, and my array formula just keeps going. If I want to change the weighting, I could change these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can do whatever I want to do, and I can do it all in one cell as opposed to taking up all this space. That's what I want to show you, kind of a real-life example of what we were playing with last time with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 kind of stuff. There is a real value to that array formula just in terms of simplification and one formula rather than a whole bunch of space that you might have to hide or otherwise show someplace else on your spreadsheet. That's what I wanted to show you today. I want to show you another way to simplify this process and do it next time. Thanks for watching.